in this video I will explain how to mark the dimensions of antenna uh, which is designed in uh, CST studio so for example I will show you one screen so here you can see that this is an antenna structure which is uh, recreated in uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint I just drawn this shape and I will highlighted all the length width and the thickness of this particular antenna so this is one method uh, to mark the dimensions of microstrip any any antennas uh, but in CST I will explain using CST so in CST there is a dedicated tool inside CST itself uh, to mark the antenna dimension so actually uh, by selecting the proper areas the software itself find the total distance between the points and it will mark there so uh, let's get started without any further delay so let's see how to do the dimension marking in uh, uh, any kind of antenna which is designed in CST studio so first of all uh, just I just uh, show you this in front view so you can see that this is uh, uh, this is the <coughs> patch I mean the top layer patch layer and the substrate layer is over here and you can see the ground layer so first of all I let me show you the ground layer so uh, so I'm going to mark the ground layer dimensions like length and width and all so for that uh, you just need to click on view button okay so once you click on view button uh, you can see that there is uh, one particular option called dimensions okay so click on dimensions and you just click on the first option called add distance dimensions okay so click on that add distance dimensions now uh, let me zoom it little bit okay now it will as you can see that uh, it give you a message like select either two points or an angle to create the distance dimension so so now i just going to uh, plot the length this is the length so for that i am choosing this particular point it is highlighted one point so i am double clicking on one point yeah this one i just double click on one point and again I come back and I double click on the second point so let's uh, this move a little bit okay and just double click on the second point now you can see that the, after double clicking on the second point if I am moving a little bit uh, right side the mouse pointer then I can see that uh, the labeling is actually given in the right side and this towards the uh, left side is moving and up and down no it's not possible so this is one method so this side is free so I just move a little bit and just press uh, sorry one second yeah And then double click okay, just double click okay that's it so once you double click over uh, a particular distance it will find out you can see that the dimension is over here 8.90 mm just like that I am going to plot the breadth also I mean the width also so again go to dimensions uh, click on add dimensions I am choosing the first point here and I am going to choose the second point here now you can see that just move the mouse a little bit downward and just double click it and it will mention you the total width of this particular uh, ground plane is uh, 30 mm and and if you wanted to know this particular gap uh, a small rectangle uh, triangular uh, slot is here so for that also I can able to mark the distance for example this end point and this end point I can show the distance here So this is also possible and, and 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 also if you wanted to see the depth of that particular point so that is also point visible one second yeah no need of that okay, okay. this is enough 
now it's because it's a equity triangle so all the three sides are same so you can it's it's 3 mm in the top side so you can take 3 mm left hand right so it can complete a perfect triangle here so this is the way to uh, do the dimensions and also i'm going to uh, do the dimensions in the patch also okay so for that let's uh, Let's click on the ground plane and just click uh, hide all dimensions okay so I just remove all the dimensions and just click on patch and now just zoom the patch here and now I'm going to uh, do the dimensions in patch side so um, if I wanted to if I wanted to see the dimension over here the width of the feet I can do that and if I need to plot uh, the width length of the feed, I can do like this by double clicking and do stretching a little bit, and I can show this. And if I want again the width of the patch, again I can do that. Yeah, it's the length of the patch actually. So the length of the patch, I can do this easily, and so and also uh, if you face like uh, this dashed line in the background is a disturbance then you can remove that by clicking so that's fine. The, so accordingly uh, you can mark all the dimensions and, uh, and just uh, which can be working plane you can if you wanted to say it will be perfect image uh, for any research article and all so it can you just click on uh, just click on uh, this button called copy view and just press window button and type paint press enter you will get paint just paste it over here and you can cut it yeah that's fine so i think uh, this will be helpful for you to take dimensions of all the antennas you design and which can be used to you know you know with this, using this method you can easily label all the dimensions for the microstrip any antennas uh, using the CST and which can be able to import it to any uh, you know research article purpose or any other purpose as well so if you find this video helpful uh, uh, kindly hit on the subscribe button and also share this video to other research community thank you for watching